Mr. Ford for this morning's children's message. Good morning. Hey, bud. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Todd. So this morning, I have with me a picture of something, and I'm wondering if you can tell me what it is. Milk. Right. It is a jug of milk, a gallon of milk. It's a picture of it. I didn't have bring an actual gallon of milk in. Daddy. But, um, Daddy. You, yeah, thanks, Cameron. Um, so uh, have you ever, how many of you drink milk? Yeah? A lot of you drink milk? Have any of you ever tasted milk that maybe was a little bit too old <laughs> or, or, or stayed out of the refrigerator for a little bit too long? Yeah? What did it taste like? Not good. Yeah. So I, I've, I've had that happen to me too, and I thought that the milk maybe tasted a little bit sour, and one time it happened to me, it tasted a little bit chunky. Um, <laughs> and, so, and so, but so milk, milk when it's too old... Um, yeah, good morning. Um, <laughs> so mil milk, when it gets old, is called spoiled milk. And spoiled milk is not something that we enjoy eating because it's gone bad. Or, like, I guess we don't really ever want to have to eat milk. We want to drink milk. Um, <laughs> but but um, when it goes bad, it's called spoiled milk. And... Uh, we, it's, milk is not the only drink or food that spoils or goes bad. There's lots of different types of food and drink that spoil. And once it spoils, then eating it or drinking it will often make us feel not so good. And so we have to eat food before it spoils, and we have to drink certain drinks before they spoil too. Which kind of reminds me of this phrase that I think is actually kind of fun. It's, uh, you can repeat after me. You ready? Use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. Right. So, so that when I think about food going bad, a lot of times we try to eat it or consume it, drink it, eat it before it goes bad. So we want to use it or we lose it. And so I want you to keep that phrase in mind as we talk about what happened in our scripture story today. So in our story, Jesus tells this parable or a story uh, about a boss who gives his workers lots and lots of gifts. Do you guys like gifts? Yes. Yeah, we all love gifts. And in, these, in, in this story, these gifts are called talents. And one of the workers in this story chooses not to use the talents that were given to him at all. Instead, he buries them. So he buries these talents. And later on um, in the story, we find out that uh, he ends up losing all of the talents after, after he buried them. So in other words, that one worker didn't use their talents and then experienced uh, the losing part of that phrase that we just talked about, use it or lose it. So I think one of the reasons that Jesus tells this story is to remind us that we can lose the gifts and talents that God gives us if we don't use them. And so... We also learn in our story, though, that if we do use those gifts, the other two workers that were given these talents in the story, when they used their gifts, they ended up getting more gifts and more gifts. The gifts just kept on giving, which is pretty cool. And so today we learn that when we use the gifts and the talents that God has given us, that our gifts and our talents will grow and grow so that we can then use those to help the people around us and to give glory to God. And that is our good news today. So with that, I'd love for you to repeat after me in prayer and invite the congregation to join as well. Dear God, Dear God thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Help, us to remember Help us to remember that we should use the gifts that you have given us so that we don't lose those good things. And so, that we and so that we can help others around us, too. Can help others around us too. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. All right. Thanks for coming up, everybody.